Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. So in today's video we're going to be creating a language translator on Scratch and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel. And let's get started. So we need the translate and the text to speech blocks for this project so how you can get them is just go down here add extension and then you click on translate and text to speech and you should get these blocks. I'm going to explain them because we've never encountered them before and then we're just going to get on with our language translator. So translate is basically what we're going to use to translate into another language. This block basically translates to whatever you type in to a different language. So let's say I translate hello to German. I know a bit of German so this should be hello. Let's see if it's correct. There we go, it says hello. Or if we translate it for French and it should be bonjour. There we go, bonjour. And then we've got language up here and this is basically whatever language you're using. Do not worry about this block, we're not going to be using it. And then we've got text to speech, basically whatever you type in to um, this block will be spoken out by the computer. To give an example, I'm going to type scratch coding class and let's see if it pronounces it. Scratch coding class. And that is perfect. And then you can set the different tone of voice. There's alto, tenor, squeak giant kitten. Some of these are quite funny, so I recommend experimenting with these. So, but we're going to set it with alto because it just sounds the most like a computer. And then we've got the language the computer is speaking in, and in this case it's just speaking in English, you can make it a different accent, or if you're using different words, you're probably going to have to choose the correct language. And now let's get going with our language translator. So what we have to do is get wet wing fly click to start it off, and we're going to use French as an example. So we're going to go ask, type in English, and then this is going to be our answer and we want to translate the answer to French. It can be any language, it doesn't have to be French by the way. So we can translate hello to French and we just put in the answer here and it will translate whatever I type in into French. And we need to save this on a variable because we want the computer to speak it. So variable, let's create, we're gonna call output. And then we've got set output to, and then we've got to translate the answer to French. Then after that, um, what we can do is we can get the computer to set the language to French first of all, and then after that, it can literally just speak. And let's test this out. So I'm going to type in hi, and hi should be salut. Salut. Correct. And we can try whatever we want, but uh, this definitely works now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another language. And to do that, I'm going to make this go, and then... I'm going to do when the F key is pressed and I'm just choosing F because um, the first letter of French is F so if maybe if we're doing German next I'll do when the um, key G is pressed and then let's do another language I'm going to do Spanish this time so we're going to go down to S so when the S key is pressed then we go um, duplicate this code so it's type in English then we want to translate our answer to Spanish and I actually don't know that much Spanish, so I'm not really sure if this is correct. And then speak output. But I do know um, the word hello. I should be hola or something like that. So let's test this out. Hola. Perfect. So we have two different languages here. Um, in theory, all you have to do is just duplicate this and then just keep changing the key and just keep changing the language here. And this is quite fun to experiment with. It is Google Translate basically on Scratch. Um, and, but that is going to be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching this video of the Scratch Coding class. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.